Well, I'm hard. My name's Hardles, obviously. Uh, 23 year old, the Rotherham, which is like um, boxing for a good seven, eight years now. Taekwondo for a good 13, 14. Yeah. Well, starting off like to say Taekwondo, kickboxing, wanting to improve my skills and knowledge more, and going to boxing, just never stopped. Just kept going from there. Work as a joiner, full time. As soon as I finish the shift, I'm getting home, getting ready, straight to the gym. Normally, I wake up about six o'clock. Get ready for a run. Um, so then come back, get my nutrition in. So I have a vitamin drink and a protein shake every morning, a bit of banana and a breakfast bar. Straight to work and then after work straight to the gym. And, uh, knackered, have the tea, <laughs> <laughs> shower and go to bed. Same thing next day. So we we have a lot of like set routines we do. There's things like called blows. We do like straight shots, um, full shots, just like a, combina a set of combination shots, uh, and then like. Um, set of shots called shots <laughs> that was like 10 is 10 overall so typical session is we'll, we'll do like footwork like a group will do footwork around around the rings around the bags uh, another lad set of lads will do the blows and then another lads do a set called like 30 30s so 30 seconds on 30 seconds off it's fast as hard as you can moving around the bag nice and tight nice and close that's a typical session that's like a standard session we do quite a lot with a lot of the lads and then we'll always finish off with some like abs or some things like that, different set of abs that we do and, and stuff. So, as an amateur, you can you can try and look into it as much as you want. I can look through social media and, and try and find the kid. But personally, I let the coaches do their part, and I just listen to what they're saying and uh, just do as best I can. So, just go off what they're saying, go off what they're teaching me, and try and try and do the best for you that way. Really, that springs to mind. Which my trainer always reminds me of uh, me sixth amateur fight was in the. Dutch national team came down and uh, it was at OCR in Sheffield and um, it was pretty much South Yorkshire versus the Netherlands team and it, it was run by Parsons Cross Club and I got put on it so I was part of the home crowd obviously and uh, I got put on my backside in the first 10 seconds <laughs> I don't know if it were nerves or I got caught with a good shot but I, the way I came back for it everyone was like mad about it so you know when like Tyson Fury beat uh, Drew against Wilder and he came back after that knockdown. Everyone was calling me that, like saying it was just like that. It was mint, but you won. The, you won instead. Like it was, everyone was saying that. Obviously, I was like, got put on my arse and just did my job. And that's probably up to date, like um, competition-wise, probably the toughest, one of the toughest moments. Blue corner. Sure, experience. If I, if I had more experience, I probably would have been pro already. Um, I'm 23, so I'm not getting any younger. Uh, still a young boy, <laughs> not getting any younger. But um, yeah, I wanted to in amateur ranks get uh, win a title, challenge for a title in championships, uh, win a, get a bit of recognition before making that step to the pro game. It's, there's a lot. There's a lot to do than just getting in a fight. It's promoting yourself, selling tickets, and a lot, lot more than, than you think. I'd like to say good record at pro, undefeated, challenging for a central area title, if not British, in five years, hopefully. We'll see. It depends, doesn't it? <laughs> Whatever comes about. It's a nickname that Pete, one of the coaches, gave me uh, from Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels, a film Harry the Atchie, and it's just, uh, it's stuck and I like it to be fair. <laughs> After hearing some of the other lads' nicknames, I prefer mine quite a lot, so. <laughs> Nice boys, yeah, come on, nice boys. I love it when we're training and stuff, he'll just he'll go, you, ugly, yeah, come here. Oh. And they'll answer to it. <laughs> it's just like, I mean, I've always said if I'm fighting for a title, it'd be like Drake trophies. It's just a trophy, you know what I mean? So it does quite well. But again, it depends what depends how I'm feeling. Um, if I obviously get in that zone, it's a good fight to get into. So something something with a bit good upbeat, pumping. I haven't got like, one specific song, but I've got a good, like, ten few that I've picked. So it all depends. I mean, my dad's never missed, I think, anything that I've done, fighting, boxing, uh, taekwondo wise, anything. Um, my mum obviously does, but she can't see, she can't see her boy get there, so <laughs> it's not a place for, for my mum, to be fair, I don't want to worry, and so uh, probably my dad. I mean, I've had a lot of love and support, to be fair, from close friends and families, but my dad, maybe, definitely. 
obviously taekwondo is not a popular sport um, as a kid I everyone did football and rugby and maybe the odd of what like running but it was still more way more popular than taekwondo and, and even boxing at the time to be fair no one really spoke about boxing when i was a kid anyway um it's, again same thing pretty much similar to work really i never used to get up and go for morning runs when i was a kid don't get me wrong i was a bit too lazy for that <laughs> as most kids are but um pretty much after school straight to the gym uh, we, we've been quite fortunate me and my brother we, We've always done sports and families always took us to everything we can do. He's a footballer. I've still said I do taekwondo and boxing. And been fortunate to be able to go to so many places and train and do all sorts. Yeah. Just a busy, busy bugger to be honest. <laughs> Sugar Ray Leonard's one from the past, the absolute phenomenal boxer. So Floyd Mayweather, I watched him growing up a lot. Um you've got your greats like Muhammad Ali and uh, Mike Tyson. But I'd say I'd say current boxers, uh, there's a lot of look up to, but Loma Trinko is one of my favourites, I think, at the moment. It has been for a good few years, but there's a lot of great boxers, but he's the one that stands out the most. Mm. I don't really let my weaknesses like try and take over. Yeah. I work on everything. Strength. So uh, if it's a strength, I'll work on it. If, it if, if it's not as much as a strength, I'll still work on it. And maybe a bit more than, than others. But um, to be honest, there's not one thing that screams out at me that's, you need to work on this to make, you know, do you know what I mean? To make myself better. But, um, all things to work on to get better you're never perfect are you so just keep working keep training hopefully my weaknesses will never show <laughs> well I, I dedicate myself quite a lot i don't think there's many people that have done it at my level for what i'm at now i think i'm better than my record and level suggests um but i put a lot of time and a lot of work and dedicate my life to it really sacrifice social life i don't go out with the mates as much i'm in the gym training Whenever I'm meeting, like going out for food or whatever, it's like I'll meet you after the gym. Uh, so yeah, I dedicate my life to it. Getting up in the morning, and I used to get up at five o'clock in the morning when I worked far away. So <laughs> getting up at five and I'm in bed at half nine, nine o'clock every night. But yeah. obviously, the more experience you get, the more confident you feel, the more comfortable you feel around it. I mean, I like to just, especially before a fight, just chill out in the changing room, listen to music. Maybe not really specific like pumping music to get me some going, but just nice, chill, relax. And then when it's time to, to warm up and get ready, I'll get a decent news going and get going. Um, I love the sport and the, I love the person it's made me and who I've become. And I know I need to do them things to get better. And I always think the opponent I'm facing next is doing more than me, so that drives me to, to do even more. Right, there you go. Any, mess any message to your opponent down the side of the camera? Let's get it. <laughs>